I will be talking about lung cancer today. I will be reviewing the definition, staging, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, screening, and preventive measures for lung cancer. Lung cancer is a cancer that originates within the cells of the lung. There is an uncontrolled multiplication and growth of lung cells. This growth can invade nearby lung and adjacent tissues and also spread beyond the lung to other organs in the process of metastasis. Lung cancer is the primary cause of cancer death in many parts of the world and it is responsible for 1.8 billion deaths worldwide in 2020. In the United States, lung cancer develops in approximately 235 patients each year and causes 130 to 160,000 deaths every year. There are two main types of lung cancer, small cell lung cancer and non-small cell lung cancer. These two types make up 90% of all lung cancers, and specifically, small cell lung cancer accounts for 10% of lung cancers, and non-small cell lung cancer accounts for 80% of lung cancers. Small cell lung cancer is usually advanced at the time of diagnosis and has already spread beyond the chest. The prognosis of lung cancer in general is dependent upon the stage at the time of diagnosis. Stage one and two have the best prognosis and stage three and four are advanced forms of lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer staging involves just two stages. There is limited disease, which is tumor confined within the chest and lymph nodes on the same side of the chest, and there is extensive disease, which is tumor that has spread beyond the boundaries of the limited disease. Small cell lung cancer staging involves a complicated system uh, defined by tumor characteristics, lymph node involvement, and the presence or absence of metastasis. Stage one involves tumors that are less than four centimeters in size and confined to one area of the chest. Stage two involves tumors that have spread to the lymph nodes within the same lung that the tumor is in. Stage three involves tumors that have spread to lymph nodes in the center of the chest or tumors that are greater than seven centimeters in size or tumors that have spread to uh, local structures within the chest. The lung cancer stages are subdivided and the best prognosis are associated with the lowest stages. This shows an example of stage 1A cancer or tumors that are up to three centimeters in size in the right lung. And the left lung shows an example of stage 1B with cancers that are three to four centimeters in size. This slide shows examples of stage two lung cancer. The right lung has a tumor that is five to seven centimeters, and the left lung has a tumor that is less than five centimeters, but it involves the local lymph nodes in the left lung. This example shows stage three cancer, where the tumor is involved in the left lung in this diagram, but there is lymph node involvement in the center of the chest, as well as areas where lymph nodes are near the chest. Stage four lung cancer is an example uh, where the tumor is um, in both lungs, and also there is tumor in the liver, and tumor involvement in the fluid that surrounds the left lung as well as the heart. Now I will review the causes of lung cancer. Cigarette smoking is felt to account for 90% of all lung cancers. Smokers have a 10 to 30% greater risk of developing lung cancer than non-smokers. The risk of lung cancer increases with both the number of cigarettes smoked 
as well as the number of years that a person has smoked. When a smoker stops, the risk of lung cancer decreases. So within five years of smoking cessation, the risk of lung cancer progressively decreases to as much as 20 to 90 percent. Other causes of lung cancer include cigar and pipe smoking, asbestos, radon, smoking from cooking and heating, also, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease can also increase the risk of lung cancer by two to five fold. Other causes include pulmonary fibrosis, radiation therapy, opium, and genetic factors. Symptoms of lung cancer include a cough that does not go away or gets worse, coughing up blood, shortness of breath, chest pain, as well as Coarseness. Additional signs and symptoms of lung cancer include loss of appetite, unexplained weight loss, feeling tired or weak, infections such as bronchitis or pneumonia that are recurrent, and new onset of wheezing. There are three main tools that are used to diagnose lung cancer, and they include the chest X-ray, the chest CT scan, and biopsy or tissue sampling. The three most common methods for biopsy are flexible bronchoscopy, CT guided needle biopsy, and surgical biopsy. This is an example of a chest x-ray. The hazy area that the red arrow overlies is a tumor in the left lung and that was later found to be lung cancer. This is another chest x-ray that shows an abnormal density in the left lung. A biopsy of this density later was found to be lung cancer. A chest CT scan is a cross-sectional radiographic study that gives more information than a chest x-ray. The orientation is that of standing at the feet of the patient and looking towards the head. This is a chest CT scan image. This is the front of the chest, and this is the back of the chest. The white areas in the center of the chest represent the great vessels above the heart. The black areas represent air. So this is the right lung, and this is the left lung, the windpipe, the esophagus. The white area near the back of the chest is the spine. And on this image, there is a nodular grayish area to the left of the spine, and this represents a lung cancer in the right lung. These are two chest CT images of a cavitary mass located in the left lung. A biopsy of this cavitary lesion was later found to be lung cancer. This is a picture of a flexible bronchoscope and this instrument is frequently used to obtain lung biopsies and to diagnose lung cancer. The procedure that uses this instrument is called flexible bronchoscopy. This diagram shows how the flexible bronchoscope is inserted through the mouth, through the vocal cords, down the windpipe, and into the lower airways of the lungs, and advance to the area where the biopsy is needed. These are some of the images of uh, a patient that has lung cancer and you can see the nodular density in the airway. A CT-guided needle biopsy is another technique that is used to biopsy lung tumors and make a diagnosis. This shows a chest CT image with a needle inserted into the left lung, and this is the lung mass that is being biopsied. This is another image of a chest CT that shows a CT-guided needle biopsy involving a lung mass in the right lung. There are several treatment options for lung cancer and they are listed here. 
surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted immunotherapy, bronchoscopy, and palliative care. Lung cancer surgery involves removal of the tumor and offers the best chance for long-term survival. This is an option for patients with early stage lung cancers. Early stage lung cancers are located in just one lung and there is no lymph node involvement outside of that lung. Surgery is an option for stage one or stage two non-small cell lung cancer. Radiation therapy is potentially curative in patients with non-small cell lung cancer. Stage one or two stages cannot receive cancer if the tumor has spread beyond the chest uh, even after treatment. Radiation therapy can be combined with chemotherapy in the management of stage three non-small cell cancer and can be combined with chemotherapy with curative intent in patients with limited stage small cell lung cancer. Also, it can be used as a palliative treatment for patients with extensive stage small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer is usually found to be extensive at the time of diagnosis. Prolonged survival is achieved in only a small minority of patients. Limited stage small cell lung cancer has a median survival that ranges from 15 to 20 months, and five year survival is only 10 to 13 percent. Extensive stage small cell lung cancer median survival is 8 to 13 months, and the five year survival is only 1 to 2 percent. Stage 1 non-small cell lung cancer has a five-year survival of 73 to 90%. Stage three, five-year survival, 56 to 65%. Stage three, 12 to 41%. And stage four has an average survival of only 6.3 to 11.5 months. Lung cancer screening with the chest CT scan obtained every year is recommended by several different medical organizations and the most recent guidelines are noted on this slide. The screening chest CT has been shown to improve the diagnosis of lung cancer at early stages. The American Society of Clinical Oncology recommends an annual low-dose chest CT scan for high-risk individuals. And these are patients that are 55 to 74 years of age and have a greater than or equal to 30-pack year history of smoking. And they must be current smokers or have quit smoking within the past 15 years. The second recommendation noted uh, is the one most recently done by the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force earlier this year. And its recommendations are similar, except that the high-risk individuals would be aged 50 to 80 years, and only a 20-pack year history of smoking is required. Pack years of smoking equals the number of packs of cigarettes smoked per day times the years of smoking. So 30 pack years would represent one pack per day for 30 years, or could be two packs per day for 15 years. The best preventive measure for lung cancer is ideally never start smoking. If you are a current smoker, you should stop smoking. Smoking cessation is most effective when behavioral counseling and medications are used. There are three main medications that are used for smoking cessation, and they are listed here. Vareniclin or Chantix, nicotine replacement, and bupropion. Assistance for smoking cessation can be obtained from primary care physicians as well as through smoking cessation programs. The references for this presentation are included here. And I will conclude my presentation 
with information listed on this slide for the American Cancer Society in Tennessee, as well as the Tennessee Tobacco Quit Line. Thank you very much.